Hello everybody, welcome to my art channel. I'm going to uh, use a small canvas, it's 20 by 20 centimeter, um, and I'm using a tea strainer. I've got two different ones. This one I think I like the most. It's a very long time uh, since I used it. First I'm going to flood my canvas with some pre-mixed white acrylic paint. Have a look of that. If that is enough. Um, I'm so gl glad that you're here today with me on this new video. I hope you subscribe my channel. Oops, a lump in there. You have subscribed my channel because I really love it it's to have you on my YouTube, in my YouTube family. So don't hesitate because it is free. It do doesn't cost you a dime. And if you hit the bell, then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And that is on Tuesdays and Fridays. And the other days I um, upload uh, some shorts. So I flooded my canvas. Ooh, I have to fill it. Not much power in here anymore. I'm going to pop the air bubbles. And now I will put my strainer about in the middle. Well, my experience is that the paint never come out in the middle, but well, let's see. I've got so, um, three kinds of um, green paint and you don't see me use green so often. So I'm starting off with this green custom color, trying to make an equal amount everywhere. And then I will use some pink. I also have three kinds of three shades, three hues of pink. And this one is um, reflex pink by Amsterdam. All my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water and you can find my recipe, my mixture, mixture in the description box. Um, don't, I'm not sure. Yes, I'm sure. Um, this is yellow green by Amsterdam. And you probably can't see, but it's already on the white paint coming through. It's a little bit thicker than my um, the paints are a little bit thicker than my uh, Dutch pour consistency. So I just um, got some colors that I picked from my Dutch pour consistency and then just added one or two grams drops of um, paint to thicken it up. This is also a custom color. I had one bottle with light green custom paint that I wanted to empty. Um, this is also a custom color. There's some Conicodome um, rose in there. Uh, also uh, put some uh, reflex pink in there 
And I think I forgot the last pink that I used. It's Opera Rose by Winsor & Newton. But this is a custom color. And I mixed my paints, uh, I think three days ago, two days, three days ago. And some of them thickened a bit up, so I had to dilute it, dilute some. Um, just put some water, extra water in there. And give it a good stir. Um, I think now you can see it peeking through. Um, I've got a new camera set up, so maybe I just do it different the next time so you can see the paint coming out earlier next time. Use a different angle. So I'm going to make this reflex rose by Amsterdam as empty as I can, use it all. And then I will probably empty my yellow green. I've seen some fellow artists using greens and pinks. I've never done it, to be honest, but I was very curious about doing it because I saw some very pretty artworks with it. Now I am debating with myself for going through and use more paints or maybe I've got enough paint because I want to spin this so it will expand. I think this is enough and now the tricky part comes because I have to lift this and hopefully the middle would, like, would look pretty. Oh, let's see how that works out. I've got some air bubbles. There is some white peeking through. The reflex pink is perfect. I'm popping some air bubbles. Ooh, I really, really like it. I have to do something about the middle. I think I'm going to use a balloon and um, give it a balloon kiss, a balloon dip. So don't worry, I'm just picking my balloons. It's not that far away. So I have a balloon that's not blown, but it contains some water. So it's a very small one, so I can um, try and do a small balloon kiss. And if I need, if I think it's necessary, I do it again, but I think I'm happy with this. I just had another hair bubble. Oh, I really like it. These colors are fantastic together. So now's the point that I'm going to spin it. I taped my canvas uh, on my um, turntable, on my spinner. So I'm going to give it a good spin. I'm starting off um, by a slow spin and I will Watch how that paint expands. It's already over two sides. So, 
is it necessary for me to another spin oh this reflex rose here in the middle is so so pretty all those petals it's like an enormous flower with with uncountable petals And now we are splattering. I always found that it sounds like rain. Well, I've got enough rain for today. It was very stormy in the Netherlands. I need a pair of tweezers to get that out. It doesn't belong in here. Oh, it's beautiful. Even when the middle is not that perfect and symmetrical, I still think it's very beautiful. Oh, well, I have to see how much paint is on here. Do I need another spin? I don't want to. Maybe I just... I, I want to stop. I think I, I'm not spinning anymore. Otherwise, the, the pink petal, petals of um, the reflex rose get lost too. And I don't want that. So I take a risk. Hopefully it will dry perfectly without cracks. That are, there's not too much paint on here. Just working on my corners and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and then i'll see you next time bye bye